Welcome back today in our Sunday Spotlight. I'm wicked excited. Jonathan the 14th, the Husky mascot, was just a pup when he first took the role back in January of 2014. Look at how little he was when he was first introduced. This is January of 2014 when he went to see the Yukon Board of Directors. He officially took the job in August of that year. And now after 10 years of service to Yukon, a changing of the collar ceremony happens today during halftime of the men's basketball game. Joining me in studio is Laura Santani. She's a UConn student who's co-chair of the Husky Committee who cares for and, and escorts him around. Laura, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us. You've been here before when we, uh, when we, we had uh, Jonathan the 15th, uh, who's the young Husky pup. Correct. Uh, now the 14th, he's getting ready to retire later today. What's that gonna be like for you? Oh man, it's, it's emotional. I mean, I've only been with him for a couple of years, but still that's two years with a dog that's like part of our family. And there's a pretty small group that's in charge of caring for them. So it's hard to see him step down, but we know that he's gonna really enjoy his retired life. And I think it's important for people to know there is this ceremony, the changing of the collar ceremony, oh, yeah. but he's still going to be around. Uh, oh, yeah. You said doing the things he likes to do. That's what you're supposed to exactly, do in retirement. Exactly, exactly. You know, we, people are saying, you know, he should learn to golf. He should learn to, you know, but he's going to spend a lot of time with his handlers, with his family, and with his little canine friend, Tildy, um, one of the police dogs on campus. They enjoy spending a lot of time together. I know uh, the 14 and 15 uh, had, you know, met up with Blue, the mascot uh, from, uh, help me, Butler. Butler, yep. Um, and some of the other dog mascots mascots along the way. So tell me about this guy as a mascot and you being with him for the last couple of years. What's his temperament like? How does he compare to 15? Yeah, well, he's an incredible dog. You know, I've never met a Husky quite like Jonathan the 14th. He's just so calm and he's so loving and he's really just happy to please and he just loves his people. He loves his other fellow Huskies. Um, and fifth, Jonathan the 15th is a very energetic young puppy. So it's fun to see them together. You know, he's 10 and a half now almost. So he's, you know, slowing down, but only in a way of like, you know, he wants to go to the dairy bar and eat ice cream, whereas 15 wants to run around Horse Barn Hill and yeah. go a little crazy. He's, he's got his tie on, though. He's ready oh, for yeah. the Oh, yeah. He's moment. ready to do business. You know, he's not going to be stepping out of the spotlight just yet. He's going to be handing the reins over to his little brother, but he's still going to be going to events. He's still going to be walking on campus, and he's still going to be teaching his little brother. And tell me about the, um, the, the life for these guys. So they live with the host family? Oh, yeah. They live with the host family. So that's a family off campus that we chose as part of the fraternity about 10 years ago. Um, so they take care care of him they take care of like you know his daily needs um, and they love him like a part of their own family so he has a really great life with them and he's just kind of moonlights as a as a mascot what's his what's his uh you know i know that he came after a mascot oh man, look at that tricks <laughs> he came after a jonathan who didn't love being out in public the yeah. 13th and so part of Part of what makes him special is that he can, you know, I saw pictures of him appearing to watch a basketball game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, here he is giving everybody a paw and a handshake and a high five. So <laughs> exactly. is that part of it? Is that his temperament has to be just right? Yeah. So the first thing that we look at after, you know, knowing that they come from a reputable breeder and one that treats their animals right is that they have the right temperament. So his brother, Jonathan, the 13th, didn't it, it's not that he hated being out in public. It's just he was a little bit overwhelmed by the loud noises and stuff. So this big guy, he's never been bothered. He loves the bands. He loves the fans. He loves when, when people are clapping, he always thinks they're clapping for him. So it actually makes him pretty excited. On those beautiful blue eyes. And he's got his tie on. Like I said, he's, he's ready for the big day. So uh, today people will uh, be able to, to, to give him a big round of applause, but they'll be able to do that again. They'll see him uh, oh, exactly. more times in the future. What's it like when you're out in public? I know just walking through our newsroom, <laughs> you pose for a bunch of pictures. It's, it's a big deal when, when people see him. Yeah, it's a big deal. And walking around campus, it's great to see everyone and how they excited they get you know running up Jonathan Jonathan you know can I get a picture can I pet him can I say hi you know we get seniors saying like this is the first time I've ever seen him like this is amazing I'm gonna tell my parents like it's just so exciting and it's such like a great energy to know how much people care about him and how happy he makes people and then 15 is doing a great job he's he's taking oh, yeah. on the role he's taking on the role just fine he's you know still learning the ropes he's only 10 months old so he's doing really incredible for how young he is and how small he is um, but he's learning every single day you you know how to interact with people and how to you know be comfortable and confident in those social situations that he's had 10 years to get used to well laura thank you for coming and joining us again uh, jonathan uh, thank you can you think i can get a handshake before I we go we only got like 20 seconds left can you give me a paw bud can you give a shake yes. there yeah he is. good well, boy good luck in retirement good he's job, a good boy bud. gets his treat uh, that is ct24 for this week cbs sunday morning is coming up next have a great rest of your weekend i'm just going to stay here and pet the dog we'll see you next week from studio a next sunday morning cool.